and welcome to another trip report. It's 10 past five in the morning and I'm at a sticky and hot Jakarta airport here in Indonesia's capital. Today I'm taking CityLink of Indonesia and I'm flying on a domestic flight down to Denpasar in Bali. Never flown uh, within Indonesia before. Going to be another new experience for me. This is my sixth leg of my 25 leg round the world tour. Let's go check it out. So, Jakarta Airport has a transit train that I used to get from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2. Problem is, I misread my booking email and it turned out I was leaving from Terminal 1 after all. How annoying! Even the most well-travelled of us sometimes make mistakes. Jakarta Airport is like nothing you'll see in Europe. CityLink to Part 4 Denpasar from Terminal 1C and there is even a landside priority pass lounge, however I don't have time to check it out today. Something I couldn't film but you should be aware of is the chaotic security screening that happens before you even enter the airport. This check is very basic and there isn't another security checkpoint inside so be ready for this if you depart from Terminal 1. I'm soon checked in and it's obvious this terminal is designed like a shopping precinct or a hospital. It's really odd in a way I can't quite put my finger on. Something else you want to know in advance before flying from here is the unusual way they use gates. Look at the departure board. The same gate is used for flights only 10 or 15 minutes apart. You need to pay close attention for the name of your destination. There is no public address here and an agent will just shout the name of the destination at you. The views from the terminal though are pretty good if you like planes. So a couple of flights have just left and that's emptied out the terminal a little bit so I can grab a brief moment of sanity. Um, as you heard earlier in the voiceover, I, I've actually gone to the wrong terminal today. I went to Terminal 2 and wasted about 45 minutes of my morning getting between Terminal 2 and Terminal 1, which wasn't a great start to the day. It's really, really, really humid here and the air conditioning here is not particularly efficient. So I'm not a particularly happy bunny from that perspective. However, the whole purpose of this world tour is to take in a lot of new experiences. I've never been to Jakarta or Indonesia before, and I'm certainly interested and intrigued by the design of the airport, um, as well as how it operates. It's certainly not how I would design an airport, but it's given me something to think about. Anyway, got about five, 10 minutes to boarding uh, now. Gonna head off to Denpasar, Bali, and I'm really looking forward to getting there. Today's aircraft is an Airbus A320neo, which is brand new and has just arrived at the gate here. Thank you. If this is your first time watching me on YouTube, don't forget that you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I live blog all of my trips in real time, so go check it out. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Today's seat is 3A in the green premium area at the front of the aircraft. Green customers get certain benefits and sit in more favourable seats, denoted by the green headrests. Simple but effective. I'll explain more what green premium is and how much it costs at the end of the video. Legroom is absolutely fine for this short domestic hop down to Bali. In case you're wondering how they manage to squeeze one flight every 10 minutes from one gate, well, we're lucky to have an air bridge. Most gates involve an outside walk in the oppressive humidity here. I've lucked out again with an empty row. There's no blocked middle seat or anything like a European business class. This is pure good fortune.
As we leave the Jakarta smog behind and head east across the island of Java, let's take a look at our route. It's 610 miles at 34,000 feet, and it will take us around 90 minutes to get down to Denpasar. The person in front of me reclined straight after takeoff. What can you do? Luckily, I had the luxury of a whole row, so I moved to the middle. Here's the in-flight magazine. It's mostly in Indonesian, but there's always a route map to look at. Our destination of Den Pasar is number eight here. CityLink is the budget subsidiary of national airline Garuda. There are adverts in the cabin, but they're proud of their Skytrax four-star rating for low-cost carriers. One of the benefits of Green Premium is the ability to order a meal for no extra cost online. There was a good selection of about 10 dishes. Something which stuck out about the service on board was the cabin crew using my name to address me. Now, I don't get sniffy about those things, but that's a no cost way of showing basic hospitality, which doesn't happen that often. This is Nazi Goreng. It might not look inspiring, but the spiced chicken and fried rice were absolutely delicious. Indonesia is vast, the fourth most populated country in the world, and I know I have quite a few subscribers from here. So, hello and thanks for all your support from so far away. I even have time for a short nap in between gazing at the mountains of East Java. Spectacular scenery. The toilet was clean, no problems, although I'm not sure why they chose a strawberry air freshener. And does anyone know why there isn't an oxygen mask fitted in the toilet, by the way? After a short but pleasant flight, we're on approach to Denpasar's runway 09. So let's look at the cost. This flight cost me 62 pounds one way, all in. That's about 80 US dollars or 1.2 million Indonesian rupiah. I was in green premium, which meant that as well as my transport, I got a whole bag, carry on, preferred seating, a meal, on time insurance, water, and priority baggage. Green premium costs around 11 pounds or 14 US dollars. So if you take that away and just want the airline fare, it would have cost me about £50. Personally, I think this is great value and can recommend it to anyone. Such was my positive experience here. Bali Airport uses a mixture of bus and air bridge gates. I had to wait only two minutes for my bag before heading into a hectic 24 hours in Bali. So hectic that I didn't film a closing piece, so I'm going to include here a couple of shots of a traditional fire dance I saw that evening. My next video will be on Sunday, and after that I'll be releasing my Q&A and channel update video, which I've been really looking forward to. Make sure you subscribe to follow me around the world on this trip. See you next time.